Hey, Pan Dudes, Peter Von Panda here. Want to pull out a watch out of my uh, collection. It's a Tag Heuer Formula One Chronograph. Um, this one is a couple years old, but uh, I have uh, totally forgotten that I had it, and it is in fantastic condition and probably better condition than um, any of this, the other models of this watch out there. It is uh, by model number, it's a CHA113. It is a 40, it lists as a 41 millimeter, but I actually think it's a 42 millimeter um, case without the crown. It's got the tungsten carbide unidirectional uh, bezel here. And that is something of a tribute to kind of those older Formula One watches that had that plastic bezel that easily wore down. Uh, sapphire crystal right here. You'll, you'll notice this design has been um, from the late 2000s till now. It's actually uh, kind of the, the standard shape case. Tungsten carbide uh, 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 protectors here for the crown and a screw down crown for water resistance to 200 meters, I believe. Um, and the cool thing about this is it's a chronograph. And so um, the it actually has a lot, a lot of dials and detail on the on the watch that you don't get in some of the other some of the other models. Uh, it's got the date window here. It's got a um, the 30 minute uh, sub dial here. It has a 60 second sub dial, and then also has over here the one tenth of a second sub dial. So um, if we go ahead and hit the stopwatch, you can go ahead and see that they're running. And obviously the tenth of a second doesn't run while um, the stopwatch is running, but it will show you where it was when you when you stopped it. So go ahead and reset it the, uh, with the bottom button there and just a nice watch. Uh, the orange face is actually pretty rare. Um, you don't see as many of them and I think it's kind of a love it or hate it dial color and I do love it. So orange uh, is kind of unique. It's actually pretty trendy now. Uh, a few years ago it was kind of trendy and then uh, everyone kind of went to more of those the bland antique vintage looking watches and now kind of a little bit more in your face punch uh, is um, it's kind of a little more popular thing. Silver subdials, just a little bit of texture. I don't know if you can see that in the in the shot here. I'll try to show it to you. Um, but just kind of like a metallic, a, a, a really nice metallic finish. It kind of looks like just a piece of polished stainless steel, um, but not like a, a real fine polish to it. Um, stainless steel bracelet and case all the way around. The backing, as I showed you a little earlier, has the uh, checkered flag, which is typical of the the Formula One uh, watches. It's got a stainless steel release clasp here, and actually, what I've noticed is that it's got the diver's clasp here, which is actually um, deployed. So normally this would be back in this position, but if you're wearing this over a wetsuit, you would be able to get an extra, oh, probably close to an inch of a play in that uh, stainless steel band. So um, a really nice feature so you don't have to uh, adjust your band anytime you want to wear this out diving or over a driver's suit, your Nomex fire suit or something like that. Very durable. The uh, quartz movement in these watches is is a, a, a very, very solid movement. And um, in everything about this watch, it has a nice weight. And uh, particularly on here, the Tag Heuer, which is this is actually... One of my favorite parts where it's engraved inside here and then filled with uh, enamel a lot of times this enamel will get beaten up and some of it will fall out it's not super hard to uh, fix you can certainly send it back to tag Heuer. i think some jewelers might even take a shot at fixing it but this is absolutely perfect addition and i just like that because otherwise you get a big flat space here and um, it's just a lot of real estate on the metal that doesn't have much detail in it but it's nice to have that name there it kind of breaks it up and tag hoyer is not the only watch company that does that but it's uh they kind of invented that in my opinion um everything else about this is kind of similar to the other formula ones 
just a great watch. 42 millimeter case is, is large. It's got some heft to it. It's got some thickness to it. But again, it's not a huge watch either. So uh, the current Formula Ones issued right now are about, man, the dog scared the crap out of me, are about 44 or 45 millimeters, pretty common. But uh, a great overall watch. Definitely check it out. They are going for anywhere from eight to 900 bucks. New, you can still get them, but they're about $1,200. Uh, you know, a good fair price for a watch with kind of this this many functions and, and a reputation like this. So check it out. Tag Heuer, Formula One Chronograph, Orange Face, Peter Von Pandau.